Here's even the kicker. Looking at private videos that are part of the police file, the authorities also have messages that the Tate brothers have exchanged amongst them. So apparently there are chat logs. Why would the Tates admit to their crimes in chat logs? Right? Like, who does that? Everybody. Surprisingly, <laughs> a lot of people. I have yeah. seen this happens all the time, probably because of the fact that they do not expect to get caught. That the authorities have access to their chat logs. I have seen people saying, well, that this is not a threat. <laughs> and my question to you is, okay. I don't know actually if Big Ack, I don't know if he is a big Andrew Tate supporter, by the way. He might not be. I'm not sure. That's what I think about Tate. That's what I think about you. That's what I be laughing. This is some like, insane I'm, I'm levels of coke, dude. No <laughs> shot. Remember when you did the interview with him? Like, that's the first time I ever seen that dude. He did talk about corruption and, and not a joking way. <laughs> Bro, uh -oh. why you? Oh my God. You Today, we are reacting to the judge's order on Andrew Tate. Jesus. I've gotten some backlash from some incels on our channel about Andrew Tate. I had one guy say, so sad that a lawyer is jealous of Andrew Tate. He'll never reach his level. I hope not. I don't want to be in a Romanian jail cell where 56 other guys are the same toilet that's in the middle of the fucking room. I hope I don't reach his level. Some of the detractors have been saying that I take things out of context and, you know, I uh, call it your Bugatti and uh, whatever. And so I am going to kind of break down what the judge said. And I think I already did a thing about taking things out of context. But let's talk about what the judge focused on in determining the decision to keep him detained. First of all, Romania is a country that's part of the International Convention Against Sex Trafficking. So they're Yikes. trying to standardize things across the globe because sex trafficking First by mistake. its nature is uh, borderless. In other words, if everybody has the same type of structure against sex trafficking, it should work as a kind of a global thing to prevent it. If there's a safe haven for sex traffickers, that's where they'll go. So that's what the idea is between that international convention. First, the judge referenced is the definition of human trafficking and the protocol regarding prevention and repression and punishment. Human trafficking, especially of women and children, in addition to the United Nations Convention. So the judge starts out by talking about the definition and where the law comes from. But then he starts talking about concrete danger for the public that they present. And even if the defendants are not known with criminal past, the charge represents a state of normality that cannot justify in context of the present case, the release of the defendants at this procedural moment in relation to the high gravity of the alleged crime of human trafficking and the creation of a criminal group organized for which they are investigated. And then the other thing he's, he talks about in the order is the judge talks about, you know, the, we had that stuff that had happened in, in London. Well, the judge says even though that's not a crime, it cannot be ignored. So he's Which using stuff in London? that and he fled to this jurisdiction. And he's also using the fact that- Wait, is he accused of shit in London too? Does Tate have a criminal, like criminal issues in other countries? Or was London the people that were accusing him of that's where he got the first girl from? That might have been, I think London might have been where he pulled the first girl from, maybe. And he's talked. There was a trial there? Up and flaunting flight. He talks about that in his order. If I fuck up and England wants me in jail, I can fly on a Nigerian passport or an American or an English or a Polish or an Estonian. I have so many passports. Are you going to block them all? Everything he is doing is consistent. But here's even the kicker. Looking at private videos that are part of the police file uh, from the con, let's see, the following passages from the context of this content, there is no doubt a deep lack of respect for the legal norms and a total indifference <laughs> to the social protected values that the defendant gives proof of. I just, I don't know what Romanian courts are like, but trying to stand in front of an American judge, dude, you would have to humble yourself so hard. Like sitting there listening to a judge, like hearing you talk about like, <laughs> yeah, I'll run. I don't give a f yeah, I don't care about the f law. Yeah, I got 20 passports. I don't give a f what are they gonna And you have to explain to the judge like, okay, <laughs> dude, God damn, it would be such a horrible spot to be in. Holy shit. Oh no, not a court in Romania. Internationally respected Romanian courts. Put me in jail. Get me out of jail. The law says you're guilty. I said, get me out of jail. I'll go see a lawyer to talk about the law. I have committed multiple felonies. How much Fix does it problems. cost to make this all go away? But also the attitude Ugh. of disregard towards women in general which he perceives only as a mean of getting his content released. In other words, making money. The judge cannot agree with the support of the defense 
in the sense that the video contents presents only one character and cannot be taken into account since the defendant exhibits the same attitude in the relations with the injured persons and is evident from the content of the conversations that are in these criminal prosecution files. The defense had made an argument. You can't really look at what he's saying on those videos because that's just a character that he's playing. Well, the judge has also looked at some private files and the judge says, I can't ignore it. You know, you look in some of the thing. He shows you his seven passports. I mean, who has seven yeah. passports? This is like what I was bringing up before, where it's like these videos on their own, they're not evidence. But dude, if they get one or two real pieces of evidence on you, well, now those videos look really bad, right? I've joked a lot about like killing people or kill yourself or whatever on stream, but like it's all it's all shit I say on stream. But you better believe the second I kill somebody in real life, okay, if I do, uh, if I were to kill someone in real life, all of those videos in the past now are gonna be looked at in a way different light, right? And if you look at, we'll show you some video in a minute about the search, you look at the guns, you look at the passports, you look at all the other things that are on the table, he's, re he's ready to rock and roll. I mean, why does, it, why does he need all this stuff? You're going after that DDoS kid? Oh, the kid that DDoS in Nebraska? Fuck, I haven't watched it, but um, Max's sub is on my rotation that I read in the morning. Apparently, Max had a stream where he talked about my, the thing with my D, the DDoS kid like 10 years ago or 11 years ago. Apparently, Max was saying that like, I need to have my gun permit revoked and um, that, uh, that I was telling my fan base to go kill people and that if they killed people, I'd be okay with it. And then I need to like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. And he was saying that like if people killed him because of what I'd said 10 years ago, that uh, I'm like signing off on it, I'd be okay with it. That's some good me. I didn't actually watch the original videos, but that's what his subreddit was saying, jeez. Well, I'll tell you why, because he fled one jurisdiction and he's, he's worried about people coming after it. Cops in general, regarding the need to prevent the commission of another crime, purpose mentioned in enumerated two, paragraph 202, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the judge notes the situation by which his conduct prior to committing the act is a subject of the case. The defendant proves the real risk of repeat criminal behavior. The judge is basically saying is, if you look at some of the recent statements put out by his camp, Andrew Tate has nothing but the utmost respect for law and authority. They're nothing but the most respect for the Romanian courts. Oh no, not a court in Romania. <laughs> of course they're gonna say that now. But what, what did he, he Oof. flaunted on his yeah. video. He absolutely flaunted it. Andrew Tate's videos that he made are completely biting him in the ass. When somebody tells you who they are, believe them. When Andrew Tate tells you he's got seven passports because he could uh, go to uh, Romania, I could go to uh, Bulgaria, I could go to uh, Sudan, wh wherever the f he says he's gonna go. He's so full of shit. You know, and the thing that kills me, honestly, uh, about this guy in general is the hubris and, and, and he not only preys on these women but he preys on these uh young guys with no self-esteem and they just think he's the bee's knees he, oh look at he's driving a bugatti you know and he's doing this he's doing that he, and he just has money hand over fist well you can make money hand over fist but if you have to look over your shoulder that's called short money it's absolutely short money and so Anybody out there who's paying $50 a month to Hustle University, which I don't think exists anymore, um, is <laughs> someone that needs to look elsewhere for motivation and support. In that motivation that you're looking for, look at what he did. He started out. Oh, f hold on. Even his cam business wasn't legit. Maybe so like, listen to this shit. It's kind of funny if you, it's kind of funny that like, wow, LOL, you're scamming people. But like, it really does make him seem like kind of a loser. It's like the equivalent of like someone like, oh yeah, I'm a multimillionaire. Like I scammed like a ton of like grandmas and shit. Uh, like, how do you, how do you take character advice from this guy, right? This is a bit bad. Here's where the famous would start. So it'd be good. Like I had a lot of girls who worked for me and the best was like the Ukrainians or the Russians. It was amazing because they'd get some guy, fall in love, da -da -da, they'd arrange the day to meet, all this shit, da -da -da -da. ah, I need a visa. Okay, get a visa. I need money for a visa. Okay, how much is a visa? It's $900. Oh no, but it's not $900 because I went to the embassy. They think I'm a, a risk and I need a, a return flight there and back and I need a hotel. I need to have spending money in my bank account. They won't let me come. 
Or how much do you need? All right, 10 grand. Boom, 10 Gs. Boom. Okay, thanks. Wow. Go to the embassy, take a picture outside the embassy. Boom, come back. They rejected my visa. They said we have to wait two weeks. After two weeks, they'll give it to me. Okay, baby, boom. Two more weeks of tips. Boom, 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 boom. Because now he thinks he's going to f, right? He thinks he's going to get the girls. Now he's spending more than ever. Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Two weeks come. Some other problem, whether it's visa, whatever, whatever. We make up some bullshit. Right? All these OnlyFans chicks can learn from you, man. Oh, man. No, no, but he's no, like no. a free, people, people, people watch free people, OnlyFans tutorial. Yeah, here people, the, who, the people, people would say, why did those girls work for you? Because the girls would work for me and at 50%, because it was 50-50, would make millions per month. If they worked for themselves, they'd make nothing. I was the best in the f***ing game. What? Me and I had a whole team of staff. Yeah, that's the, girl, the girl would only work six or seven hours a day online. So how but, did it end? Uh, bro, the story's just begun. Oh, uh, you want me to tell you? I can shut yeah. up if you want. Wait, you could have double dipped and started a coaching to coach these guys too, right? I, I could have, but give off for free because I'm rich already. But so the girl would be online for six or seven hours, but then when she logged off, was sleeping or whatever, on her WhatsApp, I'd have staff. She was online 24 hours a day. Her WhatsApp, her this. She was famousing when she was asleep. We were bringing in money for the f***ing sky. We were promising all these meetings, all these pictures outside of embassies, all this shit. Eventually... The girl, what she would do is she'd say, oh, I don't wanna go MC. She'd give a really lame excuse to try and provoke the man to get angry. So she'd say, the embassy want me to come back, but I have a headache. That was the one we'd use. <laughs> He'd be like, I just sent you a million dollars. You promised you were gonna come. You said you had to delay. Now you're saying you have a headache and you won't go to your appointment to make him mad on purpose because that would annoy any man. And then that's what we needed. We need the little trigger and we go, why are you being aggressive? I'm not being aggressive, but you're not serious, da da da. And then we'd say, but you know what? I, I really like you and I'm flying to the other side of the world by myself and now you're being aggressive and now I'm intimidated. And we'd flip it on him saying, well, now you're being scary. No, I'm not being scary, but you, you know, it's your appointment. You're supposed to go, yeah, but I feel sick and you don't even care. Female bullshit, female mother, bullshit. And flip it on him, oh flip it on God. him. And he'd get furious because we were really good you're at playing sides. Yeah, poking him to the point where you go like, you're a scammer. You scam me, you're really mad. I can't believe you think I was a scammer. I was gonna come, I went to the embassy, you're a liar every man in my life has only lied to me i thought you so he's a scammer yeah even the cam business he ran wasn't legit even the even if he did traffic the girls even past traffic the girls he didn't run a legit business he was still scamming with trafficked women you were different da, da, da. big big beef big argument yep. big argument but here's the thing the guy would get pissed off right and leave stop tipping her stop coming to her but for these men that's the only chick in the world the only hot chick in the world who talks to him Maybe it takes a week, maybe it takes two weeks, maybe it takes three weeks. He's in bed at night, alone, jerking off, looking at her old videos and pictures, watching her stream again from another account so she can't see it's him, sitting there going, maybe she was gonna come. Maybe I just got too mad yeah, when she had a headache. Maybe, maybe, I, maybe I should have been a little bit more patient and she would have been my girlfriend. And 100% of the time, in less than three months, with an apology, a brand new pile of money, and the cycle would repeat. We killed the game millions of dollars a week and it was not just because I had beautiful girls it's not because webcam is easy it's because I am a genius and I put together an apparatus of genius behind the avatar of beauty and we <laughs> conquered the internet he's just a scammer <laughs> I mean like I guess it's impressive but like yeah, it's just all of it is just scamming on scamming on scamming on scamming. Like that's all it is. Like now I just need the story of how he like defrauded his taxes and then like doubled his deposits at the bank by scamming the bank too. Like that's all it is. Like it's insane. Being successful as a fighter. You don't make a lot of money as a professional kickboxer. You he wound up with when he got done with the fight game, he had 70 grand to his name. You're done. You're out, he Mike. Blew Fine. 30 of it uh, trying to gamble it to try to get a place in Thailand. And it was left with $40,000 left. He was going for the quick money. He, need, he's, he was selling drugs for a, a short time. But fighting wasn't paying the bills, sold drugs, whatever. He, and then he does this webcam thing and didn't do it. I mean, he, the webcam business is not illegal by itself. But to do it the way he did it and with the deception and the fraud that, that he engaged in, because that's, it's, that's his MO, that's his MO. He, he has to get the quick money because he he didn't have the skill. Why well, you know I I want to say he didn't have the skill set to, to do it right, but he probably did. But just he got greedy, and you know I mean why would you tie up all your money in thirty three cars? As he said, I think they just seized another four vehicles. He's put himself in a very vulnerable position 
by engaging in criminal activity. When you break the law, you give the government a foray into your life, right? You just do because you give the government the ability to then control your life and who's controlling where he is and what he's doing. Had he done this the proper way, and I, and I don't know what that means exactly because I'm not in the webcam business. The guys that are looking at him as an idol, and there are a lot of you out there, there are a lot of you out there. I don't have, you know, Bugatti money. But you know what? If I had to do what Andrew Tate did, I wouldn't want Bugatti money. Even if I had that kind of money, I wouldn't buy a Bugatti. When you set up your program, whatever your program is, go to work, start your own business, whatever you're doing, you got to do it so that it isn't like Andrew. So you, so I mean, he's vulnerable himself. Okay, let's let's look at what he did. His first victims were addicts, right? Drug addicts. Second victims, you know, and he's always doing something in the back of people. The second victims were the ladies that he was keeping there, and I know some people said they were free to leave at any time. Bullshit. They wouldn't have a case uh, if they weren't. They, you got six people who said they weren't. But then the third victim was you guys. You guys had signed up for a hustler university. You were hustled. I mean, you, you were Finesse. online, and he was feeding what you needed to hear. And unfortunately, it was BS. It was absolutely BS. You know, I know it's it's uh, fashionable in some circles to be uh, full of bravado and and say, oh, I, you know, my bitch is doing this or that, and have this persona. But, but you know what's even better than that is being revered for being a hardworking son of a bitch and providing for the people around you and having their admiration, that short circle of people. And there's not, nothing beats that. You know, I have, I have a family that sits around me and I try to make sure every one of them is, is taken care of. And I do it through legitimate means. And you know, I, it wasn't easy for me to go to law school you know, when I went to law school, I had I had uh, shitty grades coming out of college. I didn't think I'd get in. And when I got in, I thought they were going to put their hand on my shoulder and say, look, we made a mistake. But I worked my ass off, and I really liked law school. There's something to be said for making an honest living, as cringy as it sounds, because we all want to be gangsters, obviously. But, um, like... You gotta figure that, like, if you surround yourself with people, like the people that Andrew Tate has surrounded himself with, like, it's just a matter of time before everything comes crashing down, and like everybody around him is gonna descend like wolves, and his like he's not gonna have, nobody's gonna character vouch for him except for people who can like make a buck doing it, right? Like the red pill dudes online, but like I doubt Andrew Tate has like a real friend in the world. Maybe his brother, maybe, but school and and I grounded it out and it was like seven years between my first year of college until uh, till the end of uh, law school and by doing that guess what I was able to set up my law practice and I've been doing this for 25 years and I have all the trappings of a good life that is that is solid that's where you need to be so when you look at the decisions that T Andrew Tate has made he's made his bed and his bed is right now with about 56 other guys in a single room with a toilet in the middle. The next phase for him will be to face the charges and we'll follow this. So he isn't getting out. The judge has used his videos against him that were in the police file. No way. Rejected all the defense. And I wouldn't be shocked if all of a sudden he winds up with new lawyers because that's the kind of guy that he is. Unless off camera, he's really understanding how, how much trouble he's in. Oh, I heard this, I don't know if this is accurate or not. I heard he could be looking at up to 14 years. I don't know if that's true or not. All I know is he is looking at a boatload of time. He's looking at uh, the better part of 10 years. And at the end of the day, just be good to the people around you. Work your ass off. You know, have a program that can't, you know, you don't have to look behind you. So we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Make sure you subscribe, follow us on Instagram, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Patreon, and we'll see you next time here on Criminal Lawyer Reacts. Bruce Rivers just broke down your case. He know all the charges that you about to face. You ain't coming home till 2058. That's <laughs> What is this song?
for, as well as some of the evidence that they have gathered. And it creates a bit of a different image than what the Western media is trying to suggest because uh, from what I saw, a lot of people on Twitter believe that the Tate brothers had uh, a dungeon in their basement and they were chaining women. Uh, and that's not the case. That's not what the authorities are investigating from. As I said in a previous video, they are investigating them for um, what they like to call the, the lover boy method. Uh, the lover boy method is when uh, rich and influential people uh, manage to find uh, weak-willed and vulnerable women online and then they lock them in a place, in a house, and they constrain them to do various sexual acts. And in this case, the authorities are claiming that uh, the business which the Tate... Explain to me the faux distinction between being conservative and expressing conservative opinions. Saying that, like, I'm going to ban people for having two conservative opinions, like anti-vax or whatever, is different than saying I'm going to ban you for being conservative. The first one seems kind of shitty, but it's at least avoidable when we're talking about certain things. The second one seems like an ideological, systematic targeting of a certain group of people. I think there's a bit of a difference. Brothers operated, and that was to uh, sell naughty pictures online, may have been done without the consent of the women involved. And apparently there's uh, four women that are pressing charges. Uh, we're going to look at what one of them is saying. Uh, the, the first three are saying that they have been pressured and constrained uh, through various psychological methods in order to do these images, uh, while the fourth one claims that uh, she was actually raped. Now, the judge uh, regarding the rape accusation said that they require more evidence, but they're still looking into it. Uh, while regarding the first three cases, uh, the women apparently went to psychological evaluations and uh, they, the, the... Can you give an update on how far you are now? Wait, hold on. Okay. So that we can all follow along, okay? I've done all of these basic sciences on Earth. Automation, logistic, chemical, rocket, military. I've done the first space science. I've done the utility and the production science. I've done all four biological all four material, all four energy, three of these astronomic, so I need to do astronom astronomic four, and then all I have left are these four deep space ones, and I'm done, okay? Just this final frontier, just these, okay? Just these, all right? The experts said that, yes, they do seem to be like victims who have uh, undergone psychological abuse, and, uh, the authorities also have messages that the Tate brothers have exchanged amongst them. So apparently there are chat logs and other type of evidence that the press does not have yet, but this is why the authorities are certain uh, that something has happened and why they asked the judge to uh, extend their uh, detainment period to 30 days. So um, again, they're not, it's not just the Tate brothers that are being um, accused of this. It's also two other women that did work with the Tate brothers. I made a video called, they, they are called uh, by the press, uh, Tate's Angels. And apparently these were the women that uh, were surveilling and also uh, coordinating the, uh, the activity of exploitation. So let's look at what the authorities have to say about one of these victims. Apparently by looking at the chat logs that uh, went between her and the Tate brothers, uh, it seems that uh, Andrew Tate have uh, misguided her in believing that uh, they're going to have a relationship together. And uh, he also misguided her by showing uh, false feelings towards her in order to attract her to come to Romania. So uh, the woman in question has told uh, the investigators that uh, Andrew Tate told her that uh, he was living in a house with other men that he has business relationships with and that uh, it would be best for her if she could stay in a different apartment with him. And this got her to travel all the way into the country where she found out that she wasn't going to be living with Tate in the apartment, but she was going to live with one of his acolytes. So this other woman has uh, took the person making the accusation from the airport and took her into an apartment where she found out that there were actually many other girls that were working for the Tate brothers. So basically from the snippet, she is alleging that Andrew Tate pretended to want to have a relationship with her, asked for her to come to Romania so they can live together in an apartment, 
But once she got into Romania, she noticed that uh, a different woman took her from the airport and got her into an apartment where a lot of other girls were doing video chatting and they were working for Andrew Tate. Something that uh, she claims she did not consent to, something that she- Do you know who this guy sounds like? Or when it lands, that means fang dead, vanish, uh, fucking fade, anything that you can use to reset aggro. At 40%, you will stop dots. Until then, you will throw more dots. Did not want to do. Uh, so th this is just a snippet of the accusation, but again, the just a little the bit. entire uh, investigation is based on the fact that these women were psychologically constrained to do this job. They uh, had these two other women, the uh, angels of Tate, as they are called, who were trying to persuade them to actually do these pictures, who uh, didn't allow them to leave the house, who, who were pretty much acting like pimps. Uh, I don't know if the passports of any of these ladies were taken away, because uh, if that took place, then it's going to be... Super uh, bad. ...charges we're going to look at. Uh, but again, there are three different women that have uh, came out and issued the, the, the same accusation, as well as the fact that uh, the investigators, they claim they have uh, access to various chat logs and take into account that it's not just the Tate brothers that are being arrested, it's uh, two other girls that are under investigation. But again, with that out of the way, uh, the Tate brothers are still innocent until proven guilty. There has not been a trial yet. They uh, haven't even seen the actual evidence that's gathered against them. This is just what's being leaked to the press. And it's a standard procedure here in Romania. It should not happen, by the way. This investigation should be done in secret until the trial. But unfortunately, this is standard practice for Romanian law. It's not uh, just with Tate. Whenever we have a politician, whenever we have a famous person, whenever there's someone uh, of public interest, uh, the reporters are already there when the detainment happens. Uh, the reporters have access to knowledge that should be secret, that only the investigators should have. And all of this is done in order to show that uh, the police is doing their job, that uh, yeah, the, uh, uh, the, the long arm of the law exists. And many times in the public mind, like for example, in the situation that the Tate brothers would be found innocent, in the public mind, it's still the image with them walking uh, with the police with bracelets on, uh, and most of the public will think that they're guilty, even in the case that uh, they are found innocent. And I'm saying this, again, like this, this has nothing to do with this particular situation. I'm basing this on things that happened previously with other public figures, with other politicians, like this scandal, the, the, this spectacle that they're making, um, while it is to make the police and the authorities look good, it does hurt the individual, which is why the investigation should be held in secret, if you do believe in innocent until proven guilty, right? When the cops go to arrest someone or when the cops go to knock at someone's door, you should- Is this true at all? Aren't arrests and investigations typically public info, unless he's talking about Romania specifically? Um. I don't believe investigations are public. Usually that stuff is made public, even in the United States, at the time of the trial. That's usually when it happens. To have the press there. Like, the press shouldn't even know it's happening. Sure, like, the press could report on it afterwards. But, like, showing someone with handcuffs in front of their families, their friends, completely ruins their reputation. And I'm not talking about the Tates. Again, Ooh, like, I want to hear academics cope on this. Hold on. every single person that's of high profile in my country. And uh, the law says that it shouldn't, but well, who's going to be held responsible? Now, what's interesting is that I thought the um, the judge in question, who um, is trying to extend the uh, the detainment of the Tate brothers for 30 days, uh, is going to do that because the Tates are a flight risk, which they definitely are. I mean, they, they brag um, about it. <laughs> have dual citizenship, they have private jets, they're very rich people. Right, so I thought that's why they're going to try uh, and detain them for 30 days. But apparently the judge says that, uh, no, that's not the case. Uh, despite them having no previous criminal record, uh, they are also being uh, um, investigated by the authorities in Great Britain. And oh, I'm like, rip. okay, but so what? Like, they're not convicted of anything in Great Britain. Why, why would you say that you need to detain their freedom uh, because another country is investigating them for something. 
They don't claim that. Well, the investigation. Oh, I wonder if the reason why they would claim that is because they don't want somebody extraditing them to Great Britain. They want to be able to charge them with what they've got here. Like they want jury. They have the jurisdiction for these crimes, and they don't want them to get extradited to their home country and get um, preferential treatment maybe, right? Like imagine if I'm the state of Arkansas and I've caught you as a rapist and imagine in another state you've been charged with like, in, um, I don't know, like burglary, right? I don't want you leaving to go to that country to stand for all that, for that bullshit and go to jail over there. I wanna be able to charge you where I'm at for rape, right? I wanna be able to charge you for these crimes here. That'd be my guess, but I, but I, I, I don't know. I could be totally wrong. That's just, I'm just conjecture bullshit. Right? is uh, also regarding the sexual nature and uh, because of the way that uh, he's trying to corrupt women in order to come to Romania where they're going to be pressured to uh, do video chatting he says that um, he's endangering the public and uh, I, I guess like public opinion uh, would lose trust in the judicial system if they would allow Andrew Tate to uh, remain in his freedom I disagree with this judge ruling, uh, to be honest. Um, I mean, according to Romanian law, this does not mean that you should detain someone because you have innocence until proven guilty. Uh, if it was a flight risk, then yeah, that would have been different. Uh, but I guess this is why Tate's lawyers are trying to find an appeal for this uh, decision. It probably won't work. I, Do you I, have a legal leg to stand on in that situation? If the only reason you're keeping someone is to prevent someone else from prosecuting them? I think so, right? Don't kind of, um, States and stuff will fight over jurisdiction pretty often for saying, like, I want to be able to prosecute these people for these crimes. Like, I'm not going to let you extradite. I think countries fight over stuff like that um, pretty often, right? Or people feel very strongly about that. That's why when there was, um, there was a Chinese guy that was involved in... Um, there was a, or no, it might have been a guy from Hong Kong that was involved in hiding a bunch of money for mobsters. Um, they had a whole bunch of mob banks with a f of money, and this guy um, was out of a dense jurisdiction. He couldn't be prosecuted, so Batman had to go and grab him all the way in Hong Kong. Remember that scene? It was based. I do think that uh, they're going to just fall back on the fact that they are a flight risk. I mean, if you want to keep them for 30 days, that's the best legal reason that you can come up with. The fact that they're being investigated in another country, that doesn't matter. Unless the other country finished the investigation and found them guilty. And then you can say, okay, well, yeah, but they're wanted in the UK. And then it'll be like, oh, all right, fine. <gasps> but they're not wanted in the UK, right? They're under that. investigation in the UK. Oh, no. The fact that they left the country does not hold any legal significance. At least from the little amount of law that I know from law school. I guess, like, things might have changed ever since. Uh, or maybe things are changing because it's Andrew Tate. I don't know. I have noticed there are two groups of people in the comment section. One group is accusing me that I'm not condemning Andrew Tate. And I'm not doing this in order not to upset his fans. The other group of people is accusing me that I am not saying that Andrew Tate is innocent. And because of that, I am working with the Matrix. I am with the system. <laughs> and I don't think that... And? This is how the Western media likes to do things. When they talk about the story, they need to constantly editorialize. I do have my own biases about this situation. I do have my own conclusions. But in this video series, I just want to notice how he doesn't what deny what it. The Romanian press is saying. I just want to give you as an accurate of a translation. Wait, I read a question, but I didn't actually see the answer. Who plugged Cipher into the Matrix? Is there an is there a mechanical answer to that, or are we just supposed to accept that that's like a broken thing, thing with no explanation? Yeah, when he visits Agent Smith in the Matrix, who plugged him in there? Okay. ...and to explain the way Romania does things to other people. So, I'm not interested in editorializing. Again, just because I'm not editorializing doesn't mean I don't have my own personal biases, but maybe you can get used to this type of reporting. How about you make up your own mind about the issue? How about that? Do you need me to spoon feed you with information? Do you need me to no, tell that's you what what's I'm here in for. my brain so that you know how to think? How about you listen to what's being said and you make your own conclusion. You can even get like a chat. I do not give disabilities to my chat, right? You can go into the comment section and you can talk with people. How about that? Another thing that I get is, uh, why wasn't the press so diligent when it came to Epstein? Why wasn't the press so diligent when it came to Biden? This is the Romanian press. 
Do you want the Romanian press to talk about your stuff from the United States to do your investigations that CNN and Fox News and MSNBC should be doing? It's a completely different country. Okay? The investigators are different. The journalists are different. I do not understand this level of criticism. <laughs> That's like, true. I bet there are some Zoomers who like are out there talking about like, yeah, bro, unplug from the matrix. Like you need to get out of the matrix, blah, 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 blah. And they're like talking all that shit. And you're like, you confront one of these guys like, bro, what, do you think you're Neo? And they're like, Neo, who the f is that? And I'm like, what do you mean, who's that? And they're like, I don't know who Neo is. And you're like, no, what do you mean you don't know who Neo is? You're talking about unplugging from the matrix. And they're like, yeah, the matrix, like the system that's controlling our lives, okay? The blue pill people. And I'm like, wait, do you know where that comes from? Yeah, Andrew Tate. Like, why wasn't the Romanian press more interested in Epstein? I don't know. Halfway across the world, I guess. Another more reasonable question is why are the investigators leaking information to the press? And this is a Romanian problem. Wait, why do I not have this research It doesn't only happen to Andrew Tate. It happens to almost any famous person or politician that's being investigated. Why, I don't care. Legally, it should not happen. Legally, the investigation should be done in secret. Look at how cute However, my lab setup is. Oh, so they nice. They do create this media circus, and you realize that it's a circus because they constantly leak all of these chat logs every single day. They do not just release all the information they have. They do this slow leaking in order to keep the public attention uh, to this case as much as possible. Bro, talk about the Why leaks. Why do they do it? Well, probably to show that the authorities are competent because I've seen them doing it regardless of the politician or the famous person that's under investigation. Energy beaming, They do it yes. uh, also to form the court of public opinion, which leads to the next question. Are these chat logs real? <gasps> we can't tell for sure because you don't have access to the what, what the investigators have. Wait, why is this but not researching? But looking at the past, overwhelmingly, they were real. However, oh, many Energy times three. they do not stay, stand up in court because the court requires evidence beyond a shadow of a doubt in order to convict someone of a crime. Meanwhile, the court of public opinion doesn't require that. So for example, you can have a person that admits to committing a crime on WhatsApp, but when in court, they can say, well, I was joking. I wasn't talking seriously. Uh, they can say that the context was of a different nature. They can say that uh, someone else used their phone so as you can see, when you are actually faced with criminal charges, because of the burden of proof being a lot more severe than in the court of public opinion, a lot of the times these chat logs do not stand up in court. So this is why the investigators require additional evidence. They require witnesses, they require uh, computer data that they can seize from the servers of the villa that they raided, so on and so forth. So um, yes, from the past, most of the chat logs from other politicians and from other people that were under investigations were legit. Will they stand up in court? That remains to be seen. Another question is, uh, why would the Tates admit to their crimes in chat logs? I like, who does that? Everybody. Surprisingly, a lot of people. I have <laughs> yeah. seen politicians admit to body laundering. I have seen politicians admit to committing various crimes of corruption. Uh, this happens all the time, probably because of the fact that they do not expect to get caught. that the authorities have access to their chat logs. Uh, they do not expect that the government, the Romanian government, has the technology to listen in on them. So a lot of people, you know, they forget that uh, the authorities are looking into them. And this is why yesterday we saw a chat log with um, <gasps> Tate admitting that um, one of his businesses <gasps> was fake. Oh my and goodness. that he was uh, getting his girls in order to commit money laundering and do various crimes. So it's not like a comic book villain that's going to describe his evil nefarious plan in front of the audience. It's simply that uh, they do not expect the authorities to read their chat logs. And by the way, I mean, everyone that uses the internet has seen many people on Discord saying various things and then the chat logs come out. It's oh, you can see visually. These are all the sciences that I've done. This one and then these four are the four, five that I'm missing. Oh, we're on the way there, guys something unheard of for people to talk about stuff that they wouldn't want to be public on the internet right so i hope i managed to answer all of the questions and now we can actually look at some of the new transcripts that were released today
And we got the most incriminating one yet. This is probably the woman that claims she was being held against her will at the house uh, through various psychological means as well as threats. And she wanted to go to the mall, but uh, apparently Andrew Tay says you don't go anywhere without one of the three trusted employees. So he's probably referring to the two girls that are also under investigation. And the woman says, why are you so cold with me? Don't go out alone without telling me. Mall, supermarket, nowhere from now on. Oh, I read these. The woman says, I told you I wanted to go alone. And he says, it's the last warning. So if this is true, if he legitimately says this, it will definitely be used against him in court. I have seen people saying, well, that this is not a threat. (laughs) And my question to you is, okay, imagine you're walking down an alleyway. And then you see this guy, which is twice your size. If he punches- This is the f***ing pearly things and f***ing um, sneak up. Well, was there actually a threat? I didn't even want to begin to have that combo with him. When I hear people say things like this, here's the irritating thing. This is why I love that Adam guy. Oh my God. I'm not trying to fucking brag or anything, but like when I talk to the Adam guy, like talking to another dude that like knows relationships, women, sex is so nice. I feel so bizarre when I'm in these red pill spaces. These guys are supposed to be like relationships and like women experts, right? You wouldn't ask a fish how to fish for fish. You'd ask a fish, right? And these guys all sound like they don't understand the basics of like human dynamics, of like human interactions, of like of relationships of anything they're just utterly clueless like i feel like i'm in a room full of virgins it well it almost it took so much control for me when um i think it was fresh when i was on the last fresh and fit when fresh was like no offense dude he was almost he was about to say like it sounds like you just don't understand this stuff well and this was either it was either right before or right after he told me that he thought 40 percent of women were being flown out of colleges to dubai and i'm like bro are you fucking serious right now are you actually deranged oh my god that shit fucking oh god my brain almost exploded as soon as he said that i'm like you guys are insane you guys are actually crazy oh my god but there's a guy next to you he sends you flying through the hospital into the graveyard because he does aoe punches and he's very intimidating and, and he says give me your wallet he's got this intimidating glare now if you give him your wallet Would this constitute mugging or not? And the answer is yes, because the threat doesn't necessarily have to be verbal. It can also be implied. It can also be directed from the circumstances, which the investigators are going to have to prove. But simply if you have the Don Corleone of the mafia coming into your store and saying, oh, what a nice store you have here. It would be a shame. How many hours do I have in Factorio? It'd be a shame if something happened. Um... Maybe 1,500? I don't know. Oh, I'm just kidding. 3,300. But I've probably got like, um, I think 550 hours deep into this save. 588. Worst to happen to it, right? He's not issuing a verbal threat. Like, he's not saying that he's going to do anything to your store. But due to the circumstances, like, you, you know he's Don Corleone. You know what he is capable of. You know what he did to other stores, right? You know that he wants protection money. That is a shakedown. Even though he's not actively saying, oh yes, I'm going to come and say, right? He doesn't need to do that. So, of course, the authorities are going to have to gather other evidence and mix it with this. But yeah, like telling a woman that you're not allowed to walk on the street without me when you're not even a family relative of her, that does seem like a threat. And here you have another... This is for like the first level of science in this game. This is supposed to be like three buildings in vanilla, and it's probably like four buildings in space exploration. There's a... Yeah, it's insane. Alex is bad faith about education and video editors in the SOS cast. Hey Alex, I was listening to the SOS cast. You mentioned there was a good video editor. You will get them a job. So here I am. I've worked as a YouTube editor on and off for around six years. Recently went back to college and because of that, I'm looking for work to pay my bills. Hopefully this opportunity is still available. We worked in the future. Thanks for reaching out, man. We're not actually hiring right now. Sorry for the misunderstanding. (laughs) And this is what they're being accused of. They're being accused of uh, lying to women, trying to seduce them, and then promising that if they come to Romania, they will get married. And when they got to Romania, instead of that, they were asked to do video chat and OnlyFans. So uh, you have to move to Romania with me to keep an eye on you. Your mind, do not forget that and act like it. We will be together soon. The girl says, but can I trust you? Yes, you can. You will move to Romania with me. I plan when I get here. First, I might have to go to Prague for a few days. 
and then we meet in Romania. And I want to know that you are committed, serious about the marriage. And the girl says, yes, I am serious. So these are the chat logs which were released today, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, and these are about... This is... It's fraud. He's, like, misleading them in order to get them to, um... He's misleading them in order to get them to... Pretty sure by uh, tonight we're going to see more. Probably in the next couple of days, there's going to be more leaked. It does look like a PR campaign, what can I say? But it's a uh, standard for Romania. People saying that they're only doing this to Tate. No, it's every single time. I, I, I can't think of an exception when a politician or a high person, uh, high profile person uh, was under investigation, uh, especially if they get arrested and, and detained into custody. Every single time you have things from the investigation being leaked. And one of the questions was like, is this a mistrial? And the answer is no, it's not a mistrial because we do not use jury, right? So the Romanian system uses judges. A judge gets to decide the guilt. Uh, at the first court, you have one judge. And then as you move up to superior court, you have three, then five, all the way up to nine. But that's the Supreme Court. And I don't think uh, this is going to be uh, involved. And the judges themselves get to decide. And uh, the judges do not have to be separated from the news or from the the online press maybe this is like another way that the prosecutors are uh, another reason for why the prosecutors are doing this to potentially influence the opinion of judges i mean they read the press as well right the prosecutors uh, get promoted and they, they get um uh, their, their effectiveness is analyzed by how many cases uh, they manage to get and send to court in order to get a conviction so, you know, potentially they're also doing this in order to influence how the judges think. I can only speculate. It is very bizarre because this doesn't happen in other countries, right? Like in the United States, if something like this were to happen, um, it would be considered outrageous. Let's put it like that, right? If, if you have a person that's under investigation and the uh, things from the investigations were to be leaked to the press, it would be an outrage in romania it's just normal let me know what you guys think though and as usual i will see you in the comment section well thanks dude so chat a little bit more on the andrew tate thing and i, I told you i would talk about andrew tate i think this guy is like a reputable source i think i'll click on his profile that you guys could look at him you could tell me his name is mario no fall no bias no echo chambers he's a host at round table oh, no bias no Doesn't echo chambers oh i can do spaceships nothing too. says he's really that reputable but he's coming with new information which we'll see um i've seen him tweet about this tape thing consistently and and um whatever anyway he says new eerie details are emerging about tate brothers investigation file issued by the bucharest court as per the court investigation investigation document the tates pick up young women under the pretext of starting a love relationship which resulted with person being taken to a house with other girls and forced to produce videos that were later posted on adult websites gotcha, for feet. the victims of the Tate brothers told the prosecutors that when they first arrived to the suspect's villa they were met by armed guards their role was to put pressure on the women so that they never took a break from work and uh, from work, they were doing on the adult sign, sites. By the way, it, it, it kind of trips me. Wait, I, I know that the Tates had armed guards before they got onto this Hustlers University shit. But ac according to these guys, they're saying they did. Let me keep reading. Besides serving as care models, the girls were also made to do other things such as moving money or illegal items like documents. It didn't stop there. Romanian investigators have further obtained shocking statements from women who were allegedly recruited by the Tate brothers. Reportedly, they admitted they were forced to get tattoos with the message owned by Tate. We've heard this a bunch. Yikes. Again, we haven't seen any pictures or exhibits or whatever, like in courts what we call exhibits. We haven't seen any pictures of this, but. What the fuck is this? Supposedly, some women got tattoos on their inner thighs that said owned by Tate. We've heard this, but we haven't seen it. Holy this. shit. So, could be false, but... You can just make material. You've never heard this info before. Anyway, let's keep reading. Anyway, let's go. Gabriella Groza, a forensic psychologist, quoted in Romanian media, human traffickers are people who have more pronounced 
psychopathic traits. They don't feel remorse. They don't feel regret. They either blame the victims, disregard them, or place responsibility elsewhere. The Tate brothers' attorney says all of DICOT, or DICOT, whatever you want to call it, allegations are false, and that the victims allegedly produce pornographic material to make money for them. Um, this is a source here. So what are your thoughts about... The there are pictures of at least three different Tate girls with tattoos on his website. Yeah. Prosecutors have with obtained wiretaps in which Andrew Tate recounts how he broke the law and how he took advantage of the woman. Apparently, this is a wire. This is from a wiretap. I, I don't know if this is true, but this, you know, unfortunately with Romania, Reuters and AP, which are the, the pretty much the most reputable news sources, you know, um, they don't give two fucks about like somebody, some place like Romania. So we, we have to get it from other places. Um, anyway, they say this is from a wiretap. Andrew Tate says, "You're not stupid, and you could probably guess how I made so much money." I have to hide what I'm really doing. The victim says, webcam? Tate supposedly says, I've been doing this for a long time with a team of girls working on video chat. The company was fake, but this is how I laundered my dirty money. Some of the girls work for me. I use them to do other things, to move money or illegal things, documents, etc. I'm going to be honest with you, though. Uh-oh. Yeah? I'm, I'm not trying to call this nigga a liar. But who talks like this? It's no way Andrew Tate just literally- He literally says it in every fucking video. He talks about the illegal shit he does all the fucking time. What do you mean, who talks like this? Your boy, Andrew Tate, talks like this constantly. What do you mean? He just said, yo, what I'm doing is illegal. I've been laundering money. Like, that's what this- We got him on video saying the same shit. Yeah, that's what he does. What do you mean? Tap is a legend that he, Andrew Tate admitted to someone, it looks like a victim, that his whole operation was to launder money. And to actually, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. Um, did Andrew Tate specifically say in that video that he got the girls to do other things, or, am I th or are they only chat logs that I've read? I'm trying to think if. If we saw him on video saying this, or if this was only in chat logs, I think it was only in chat logs so far, but. The move illegal things, and that's how he's making his money. Maybe not the webcam stuff. I just think that's like, seems far fetched. You know what I mean by far fetched? When I say your boy, I don't know actually if Big Ack, I don't know if he is a big Andrew Tate supporter, by the way. He might not be, I'm not sure. Just seems, even the biggest idiot wouldn't just tell some random person you could guess how I made so much money. I have to hide what I'm doing. Like, what the fuck? If you're hiding what you're doing, why would you tell someone who you're probably getting over on according to all the government shit? The government is saying, this victim, he's trying to get get over on. Why would he tell her that, yo, I have to hide what I'm doing? If you're trying to get over on her and you're trying to make her feel like you don't have no other shit going on and it's supposed to be secret. Anyway, um... Dennis, oh I've been God. doing this for a long time. Girls working for video chat. The company was fake, but I laundered my dirty money. Like, who talks like this? The company was fake, but that's how I laundered. Why would why would Andrew Tate tell a victim this? Sounds crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, somebody said, watch Bruce Rivers. He admits to many crimes. Let me see. Bruce... And also check your DM. I sent you a piece that they made with, uh, about vice and shit. Mm, let me see this. Com, perhaps you five months ago, and I told you that Andrew Tate is going to be on limit your movement. And so let's kind of look at one of his very first videos that he did. These are his words, not my words. And I'm going to play it, and I'm not going to take it out of context. We'll, we'll play this. Let's just make sure I'm not taking things. Out of context. When you say webcam company, people assume, oh, it's just a sex fest. But in reality, it's a shitload of people management. The HR category of the webcam business is, is the largest and most important thing. You're effectively taking girls, teaching them how to make unlimited money from home, and then making sure they give it all to you. So you're making sure <laughs> that you're teaching girls how Jesus to make a Christ, shit ton of money dude. and give it all to you. Now, this is one of his first instructional videos. A lot of guys, you know, he's got a lot of fans. 
And a lot of guys think, oh, in order to have some wealth, you have to have a Bugatti, you have to do this, you have to do that. In order to have wealth, you have to have self-pride. You have to know who you are as a person. And where do you get that from? You get that from building, as I've always said. So I do two things. I do, I do, I like to be motivation for younger guys and, and women for that exa- for that matter, uh, who are looking at maybe a possible direction in their career. So I like to motivate people in a very positive way. But the other thing I do is I do offer a legal analysis of what's going on here. Right off the bat, he tells you that his main goal is to have them work for him and him get all the money. Webcam studios everywhere. There's one webcam studio down the road called Studio 20 with 100 rooms. 100 rooms, eight hour shifts, three girls a day. That's 300 girls a day working and they all work on live gasm. So if you're going to go on live gasm, you're going to be competing with big time guys. And what you want to be competing with is people at home in their bedrooms. You don't want to be competing with serious businessmen because I know for a fact, Studio 20, the owner of Studio 20 and the owner of the website itself, Lies Yasmin, are friends, and they've got some kind of backhander agreement. So all the Studio 20 girls appear high on the web page. They appear at the top of the page. Obviously, if you're going to go on there, you don't want to scroll down 10 pages to find a girl. You're going to go to the girls in the first, first row. All his girls appear high up because he's given... The, we watch the, this video? Uh, yeah, I don't know how much he's going to watch of it. We'll see. It's a huge competition market. So you can see his main thrust. Is he going to watch the whole thing? Money. And he doesn't give a shit how he does it, really. He just... Want to buy... Think starts. This is how... It's that flush... My, my, hit, let me tell you this. And he's choking. Like, yo, bro. No, hold on. Add the f- stand up. No shot is he going to say the podcast. I've done... I've lived a varied life. That is a form of self snitching. That indicates that there's things out there that are illegal that he's done. I've done mm-hmm. some things when I had to pay the bill. What's this going to be? So I like... Here's my problem with this this whole thing, though. Yo, Tate to me is like a comedian, bro. Oh my god. This is why, like, you know, I, I say a lot of stuff that's kind of tongue in cheek too. <sighs> and this is why, like, I'm about to just do stand up just to like, cause like, <laughs> now nah, I'm being honest, bro. No, when I listen, when I listen to Tate, I laugh. Like, I'm not listening to him thinking that he's just only speaking everything factual. Bro, I think he's he, he knows how to tell us. Yo, you, you ever seen a guy who knows how to tell a story? And he, and, and and maybe the mid, maybe the heart of the story is true, but he knows how to add the flash and the flair. That's what I think about Tate. That's what I think about you. That's what I be laughing when you This say is some like, insane I'm, I'm levels of cope, dude. No <laughs> shot. <laughs> All right, good, good. But that's what I'm saying. So now, like. Like, I'm watching this lawyer guy, like, kind of going over his words, like, oh, you're super serious. I'm like, yo, bro, nigga, the way he's saying this makes it's funny. I flush my phone down the toilet quickly, bro. <laughs> like, come on. He didn't flush his phone down the toilet. He's capping. He's joking. Like, come on, bro. Remember when you did the interview with him? Like, that's the first time I ever seen that dude. He did talk about corruption and, and not a joking way. <laughs> bro, Uh-oh. why you? Oh my God, you Destroy niggas, evidence. man! I hate. Watch my phone down the toilet. So I'm trying to hide shit. I'm looking around. What do I have to hide? This? Yo, yo, here, let me tell you this. You see, a guy like Andrew Tate. I want to explain to you what type of guy he is. Yo, a nigga like Andrew Tate goes into any room, and he's a storyteller. He says whatever to get the room. Look how these niggas, like you know, these are my guys too. But like, look how Myron and and Fresh are laughing uncontrollable. He got them in the palm of their hands, bro. That's why I say it's like this is like almost like comedy to me, because that's that's what you need to do to make. You could tell him anything at that point. He could be like, "Yo," and after I flush my, my fucking phone down the, the toilet, a elephant pops in, like, and they'll be like, "What, bro?" They're gonna believe it just because, bro. You, you're gonna tell him stories. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not you believing. Well, you know why people believe it? Because he walked around saying, "Nah, nah, fuck with corruption." Like, I, that's why I live in Romania. That's what he said. <laughs> yeah, like, but uh, we don't think that that was the real reason why he no, moved there. Yeah. Uh, the first time I ever seen this man before he was doing all this extra like chauvinistic like trolling and, and like content creation and shit. When you first did that interview act, act, you can play the clip. It's your interview. The man was talking about corruption in a very toned down, not over the top way, where it's like, oh, this is- All right, hold on, all right, Kyrie, uh-oh, I'm, I'm uh-oh, glad you uh-oh. said that. So I'm, I'm not sure what he said verbatim on when I did a podcast with him, but I've heard him talk about corruption in this sense. He said, listen, here's, he said, listen, 
the entire world is corrupt, right? And I'm kind of giving a theory of what I believe is this theory. So, oh my God, um, tell me if you fundamentally disagree, because I actually agree with this. He's like, yo, pull like this. He's like, yo, um, if he gets if he gets pulled over, um, he has to go to court this and third. If somebody who's really high up in government gets pulled over, they get let off with a warning. You get what I mean? Basically, it's about who you know, how plugged in you are when it comes to the United States, because every place is corrupt. He says he'd rather live in Romania where no matter who you are, if you get pulled over, if you want to get out of it, yo, you got to get them niggas $300. And he's like, yo, if the... If, if, I feel like Andrew Tate is one of the most, like, even more than Mr. Girl. This is like one of those situations, like, when somebody tells you who they are, listen. Like, bro, like, the amount of, like, mental gymnastics we're having to go through here to prove that, like, it's all a meme is like, come the f on. You got to be joking. If the barrier of corruption is just cash, I'm good. Because now... I got 300, maybe that politician got 300, we all got 300. So I'm afford the same type of, oh, look the other way. But when you're in America, it's all about, hey, are you plugged in with the people who are in power? Oh, did you oh. did you donate to somebody's campaign? That's how you, you get what I mean? Like, yeah. So just because he's saying that publicly is bad, but niggas is living, these politicians and these cops is living by that shit every single day. So because he's saying it publicly is bad. Yo, yo, think about this whole Jeffrey Epstein shit, right? Jeffrey Epstein shit is like so like elusive and, and it's such a mystery because you know why? Jeffrey Epstein was in cahoots and in bed with the same mother who run the country and who got all the money so let's first take you get what off. i mean so now imagine you did some jeffrey epstein shit by the way we don't condone that type shit right good, we good didn't condone it even when jeffrey epstein did it but if you do it <laughs> so brave. you're getting lynch they're grabbing you out of your job or wherever you at and they're bringing you and they're gonna parade you around as some demented mother he's just saying he'd rather go somewhere where like the 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 the, the corruption and the selective politic, and to use wax word, of the world is not based on who you know or who you got dirt on. It's like, bro, just give us, yo, just pay us off and, and we don't give a f With shit. Why would you want to live like that? Am I tripping? No, you ain't tripping at all, nigga. <laughs> just facts. Like, let me finish playing this video. Hey, shit, I'm looking around, but what do I have to hide there? I'm hiding shit. I'm destroying evidence. One of the problems that you have with, with a guy like this is there's a treasure trove of statements that he makes that a prosecutor can use to impeach him with if he ever decides to testify. Up with all these chicks just stuck in their house, sitting there bored. And of course, they don't go out. They're not allowed out. So I got all these chicks. They're in love with me. They don't go out. They're not allowed out. Restricting somebody of their movement is part of forced fraud or coercion. You stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You don't, no restaurant, no club. No. Do you get to eat? Do you get to take a shit? When you start controlling somebody like that that is the crux of you come bro i really think he's talking tongue to you right he's talking shit because people are listening to him here on a promise why do people think like uh, granted obviously there's some people who claim they're witnesses or they're victims but like when i listen to that and, and, and you know they'll try to shame me but like, oh you used to like listen to andrew tate bro when i'm listening to andrew tate bro that nigga is a comic to me bro nigga Yo, after I listened to, um, what's that nigga name? Charleston White. I told Charleston, I said, Charleston, you got to do stand-up. Ask Charleston White, who's the first nigga who told him to do stand-up. Academics. Facts. Go ask him. Facts. Bro, because sometimes, like, you know a nigga just kind of doing the most, whatever, whatever. And, like, come on, bro. You know it's just for a laugh. Nah, yeah, but, again, just like rappers do, a lot of characters who want to be entertainers of, of this elk. They tend to, you know what I'm saying? Like, if your background has bullshit in it, that is, you know... I agree with you with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what we saying here? Like, it's like, nigga, you the one that hopped out the window and wanted to talk all this extra shit, but at the same time talk about how you be... You fuck with corruption. That don't sound like a smart thing to be doing. No, 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 no you, got some, you got some points right here. But when you get here for it, right? Uh, hey, hey, here we go, here we go real quick. That you're gonna have for somebody that has multiple citizenship is whether they're a risk of flight or not. Okay, we're good on it. 